Beards are making a comeback. Um, that's the only thing making a comeback. Uh, so I had a couple of thoughts today about music creativity. Uh, one thing is there's a sour note to all melody. And uh, I had like a near-death experience when I came back to Florida. I got really, really sick. And <clears throat> I had a job porting lots and ended up doing a dumpster in the rain. And I think there was something strange going on in my, my uh, either with the rain or with the dumpster. And I got really ill after trying to fight through that. Cause I, so I tried to fight through everything, but then there reaches a point where you just keel over. And so uh, I was sick for about two weeks when I had first come back to Florida, maybe about four or five months into it. <clears throat> but what happened was I felt like I died in my sleep. And a sour song from a bird felt like it reanimated me. And I slowly got my strength back. That's kind of unrelated to um, the melody thing, but it's kind of, you know, all, all our melodies, do they come from birds? You know, the beautiful, beautiful birds? I don't know. I love uh, cardinals. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> so... If you listen to Chopin or if you listen to hip hop or if you listen to, um, you know, romantic music, there's always a sour note. And that it could be thought of as the root note of the melody instead of the root note for the keys and all that. So that's just one thought. So another thought is there's a Mandela effect to hooks and to um, arpeggios and to melodies. And what it is, is your brain remembers in a way it doesn't exist. And that's just a random thing on that. And then the last thing is, I did a re, a, just a short little thing uh, for Gangsta's Paradise. Um, I, tr I had the idea to make a holiday version. That's just how it works. I don't know why. But anyways, so I did, and I'll, I might do a couple of versions. However, there's a really exceptional, wonderful uh, version, uh, which is created by a guy who has a channel called Piano X, and it's Gangsta's Paradise, and it's just like on, on the piano. But it, I listen to it since I heard it like every day, and I listen to it sometimes when I'm working. It just has this incredible, cool Russian march thing going on, and it's piano done by a Russian guy, so it's going to be top notch. Um, all the, a lot of our themes in the Western culture, they have this tendency leaning towards that that uh, Eastern theme. And it's like, uh, what the hell? But, um, and also the Russians, it's like somehow we, they have snuck in with this romanticism and they have snuck in even in techno, where you hear that little buzzy rave melody and it wants to go towards Russian music. So that's because a lot of Russians, I guess, love music. Good for you. I mean, but it in, influences Western music. So we have the romantic music, they have dance music, they have the classical music, you know, and the, and the, and the urban music, they, they sneak that in there, like uh, Gangsta's Paradise is an example. That's like a, a, a dark Russian kind of combo classical theme going on. It's like, so that's why I love it, because it's got this really deep um, resonance to the theme and to the motif of the various, uh, you know, melodies and chord uh, progressions. And that's why it makes great trailer music. So this guy on Piano X, he did a version where it's just so cool. I mean, it's like the cleanest thing. If Mozart and Rachmaninoff and Coolio got together and made a version of Gangsta's Paradise, I mean, wow. It, it literally brought tears to my eyes. It was so great. And then also he just released another version on uh, the Shorts platform which has uh, like an epic trailer style vibe. So he must be an epic music person because there's still a lot of those uh, this in this day and age. And some of the most talented virtuoso people ended up getting involved in, in uh, production music because you had an opportunity to show your stuff and to have a little bit more fun than working on just regular old record label stuff. So you could work on a vast repertoire of things. So anyways, Really cool track. I'll try to put it in the description. Um, so those are the, the three music creation, spreading of ideas, concepts of today. Bye-bye.